In this equation, we have copper two nitrate plus sodium carbonate, and this is a double displacement reaction. The copper and the sodium, they're gonna switch places. And when we have these double displacement reactions, it's helpful to think of the polyatomic ions as one thing if they appear on both sides. So NO3, that's the nitrate ion. We have it here and we have it here. We're just gonna call that one item. Same for the carbonate. We have a carbonate ion here and here. We're just gonna call CO3 one thing. That'll make the balancing a whole lot easier for double displacement reactions like this. Let's try it. We have one copper, we have one nitrate times two, two nitrates, two sodium atoms, and then the one carbonate ion here, the CO3. On the product side, we have one copper, one nitrate, one sodium, and then one carbonate. It looks like we could start by balancing the sodium here. We have two here and one here. Put a two in front of the sodium nitrate. So now we have one times two. That'll give us two sodiums. So those are balanced. Nitrates, we have the one times the two. That gives us two. And actually that balances the whole equation. We're done. This equation is balanced. So when you have these double displacement reactions or you have a polyatomic ion that appears on both sides of the equation, like the carbonate here, we have the nitrate here and here, then you can count it as one thing and you can see how quickly we were able to balance this equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CuNO32 plus Na2CO3. That's copper 2 nitrate plus sodium carbonate. Thanks for watching.